remodeling the walls. We add ceiling. We add lighting. Remodeling the wall panels. We add the windows. We add textures. We add lighting in the interior. We start by adding some 3D models like curtain, carpet, bed, and in the end, decoration. If you'd like to support me and this channel and to purchase all the models what we use in this scene, you can get them on my Patreon page. Link will be in the description. We are in Blender. Uh, first thing what we do is we go to Pinterest and we search for some reference. Always use reference, combine some reference and uh, find your style. I have chosen some reference, uh, these three. I am using Pure Rough. It's an app for reference. Is really great. It's free. After you choose your reference, you go to Blender and we start modeling. I'm in Blender now. I have deleted all the things and uh, we had a cube again. <laughs> we move it to level zero here. Okay, we just add this. You can see what I'm typing. Now the dimension of the room should be around 4 meters, 3.5 meters, depend on you, how much you want to leave it. And we go and make the dimension of the room. Four meters. I should be around uh, two point. Uh, I should apply the scale as you can see. Two point eight the height, and this will be around uh, six meters. For this tutorial, I'm going to use units about uh, centimeters. We will work in centimeters. Don't forget to apply the scale. Uh, we are going to open a window here. As you can see in our reference, we have a window. Window. I move it to zero and again go 100 centimeters to 150 negative centimeters. The height of the window should be around 220 centimeters. We go in the face, select, extrude it around the 20 centimeters and we delete it. Now we are going to modeling the ceiling here. It, sh uh, it should be I prefer the ceiling in this interior. First we need to separate the ceiling from the walls, from the floor.
we need to change the view to see more focal length 25 is great and we start modeling the ceiling first we select the ceiling we duplicate it you select all and you press X and uh, limit that this all and you go down for 10 centimeters After we go down, you, you select this and uh, we press E. Let's just check. This is okay. Press E again. And as you can see, the thickness should be around uh, 50 centimeters. You delete, you delete this with Alt, faces, okay, now we are need to have a, a light source here, which, which will be with a material emission, for example, you select this one and press E again, go around 10 centimeters here. Press E again, go on, and press again and go 2 cm. This will be the gypsum. You select this, Shift T, you separate it, you want this one, you separate it. Now you hide this one, this one you extrude it, uh, extrude one centimeters. This will be the uh, light and this will go till the end of the slab. You need to snap to vertex, extrude Z and you just press the corner here we press alt e to unhide and you just extrude this for uh, three centimeters negative now we go inside So you can see how the, most of the modeling has finished it. I'm just gonna save it. Now we need to add the lighting. Lighting of the exterior. We need to add the HDR. In my last uh, video tutorial, I have posted uh, this how to create a photorealistic light in interior. When I explain how I use my HDR step by step, it's easy to follow and I suggest you to watch that tutorial to get more deep knowledge about lighting. I'm going to go to the world, go to environment, environment texture. 
I get as they are from Polyhaven. Link will be in the description. With Ctrl T, you need to have enable add on not Wrangler. After I have added a HDR, need, now I need to have a ton map at 8k. I'm not going to explain this because I have made a video and uh, if you want to learn it you can go there because I don't want to make the tutorial too long. Now we go to color management, go to false color. Uh, we you receive the exposure for example red is more exposure and blue is less exposure we need to make the scene to look green You can see that is the upper there. Increase the exposure here. Even more. Now it's start looking great. We can change this value, but for now it's good. Now we need to add the Light of the ceiling, this one. As you can see, we have modeling. Let's just go to the create new material, go to object. We have the black body and plug it to emission make it this work in the Kelvin scale should be around 4000 and make it the strength uh, 5 You can use a denoiser. Let's make it to five. Just a little more exposure. 
here. Other thing is look. This look great. Now we're gonna we are going to add the floor material. I'm getting textures from uh, Polyhaven. They have amazing textures. And they are free. You can support them in Patreon. I'm gonna use this laminate wood floor. And the resolution should be around 2 or 4K. Depends on you. After you download it, go to File. We are going to append it. We need to UV unwrap. Change the rotation. For example, this dimension of the laminate should be around 20 centimeters or 25. To look in scale, twenty five, you make your cube. And go here to to scale, make it two. If you press the shift, you will have more control. Our oh, thing is looking great. As you can see, their texture uh, are amazing, they have high quality. Bump are all the stuff here. Going to see here. It's going some lag here. I don't know if it's because I am recording and okay. Now we are going to add the wall material. In using uh, this is texture, this texture. We don't love this. Well, band downloads. And you select all the material. Okay, the same. With Control L, you link the material. I'm going to UV unwrap it. Select all the material.
and select all your smart UV OK and we're just going to scale it around 5 10 just to see like little bumps not to be completely flat and uh, we are going to see the face orientation as you can see the face orientation are not right because the camera need to see the blue because blue is for inside red is for outside for example, if we add the cube, it's blue. And the camera need to see the blue side. Select all of them. Flip it. And flip it this two again. And now it's okay, I think. We don't click that. As you can see, our walls will be a white material. If you want, you can leave it any color you like. For example, I'm gonna show here a trick. But I think it's going glitchy. For example, if you add the uh, hue saturation, and you change the hue, you will change the color of the wall, like green or anything you like. But I'm gonna keep blue. To make it not blue white, just remove it here in the base color. Select the color and 0 0.8, it's perfect. Save it, OK. And now I'm going to add the window here. To do that, uh, we need to enable our add-on here. Archimash. Select this and uh, with Shift S, cursor to select it. Okay. With Shift A, we go to Archimash and Panel Windows. And here will appear. A window panel. We need to rotate for 90 degree, and the height should be. Remove the sill. Till the floor. You can play with value here. And just go like on the side. I'm gonna change the glass material here. I'm gonna change the hole because glass is not completely like a volume here. Delete this X space and we separate the And we go to
we go to selection and we extrude it for 0 0.2 centimeters we go to the material here Create a new material. Add class. Transparent. Light bulb. Mix this to. Add a mouth node. For example, we don't need to calculate the shadow and the diffuse of the glass because it will increase the time and also it's not, it, we don't need it. We see the face orientation. As you can see, the face orientation of the glass is not good. Recalculate outside and now it should be good. Also apply the scale again. Face, face, okay. This is how it look. And well, even if you remove, it's not any difference. But we need reflection. For example, here. I think we can see it. In some reflection here. I prefer to use this setup for lighting or glass. And now we are going to start to modeling the pad, the panel here. You can choose your style in your reference, it depends on you. But I'm gonna go with uh, this style. I like I like this more. We add a cube. We press the cursor here and add a cube. Go to M and make it 1.8 centimeters with G and snap to corner here we grab it from the wall and we remove it we move it to for 10 centimeters and we extrude it like here 160 centimeters Hundred and sixty, and we move it till the wall here for the end, and we grab it again and we move it for eighty centimeters. Something like that. Now we need to add the light here, as you can see, from back, like we did with the ceiling. We do with this panel you press E you need to apply the scale again select all match by distance it's okay and as you can see the scale is not apply rotations when you create a new object you need always to check if the scale is applied because if the object doesn't work correctly you need to go around the two thickness to five press E again and we go for one centimeters and another for two centimeters 
this will be our light and we separate it and this will be our panel you extrude this till the wall with snap tool here extrude till the wall and we have another one select all extrude for one centimeters and this one we go to we select our source of light here for example if you want to add the color in solid view you can go to viewport display and make it for example green to make it more easy or the floor to make it like something like this but i don't know i don't prefer for myself this now we need to add uh, this panels here it's simple you can try to do it yourself don't just follow me try to do it yourself if you see it's not going good you watch me again and again and you will learn it the workflow press here add a cube 1.8 we go, we grab it to corner here. We extrude it or we with G till the end. I think we're we going to make it uh, one. Point eight not put this we are going to make it uh, plus eight not I mean plus zero two point six we need to use the RI modifier We need to apply the scale again. As you can see, now it's looking great. We just go from distance and we lock our reference. We make it like this see but uh, if you see in the reference if you can see you cannot see the wall here from behind the panels because there's another panel here we move with this for 1.8 and we go here first we duplicate this Because we need to save it if we don't need if we need some change we have it we need to apply this rotation scale okay shift D extrude it and you extrude till the end here and in height and it look good and as you can see it's getting shape now we need to add the, this for example as you can see this panel of the wall down how to do that 
yeah, there are two ways to do it. For example, you add a cube, make it one, one by one, go and place it to corner, and you shoot for nine, and you move it till the end here. This is the first way to do it. The second way is to do, for example, you select all the walls. If you have clean typology, because if you make it, for example, make a knife here, I still it works because nice. For example, here it doesn't work. Go here, move it till down, close that, move it for 10 centimeters. You select uh, all of them, shift T, you press P to separate, and after you do that, you go here, you add a solidify, and make it uh, 1 centimeters. If you look face orientation, it's okay. You just need to flip the face orientation of this. And now it's from inside, as you can see. This is the second way. The third way, if we add a curve here, it's more complicated. Now we see again. For example, always the lighting is another tip. For example, always add a, add a plane here down. You scale it more and move it just below because when the light this is the sun and the light fall to the plane it bounces and it brings more lighting in the interior for example if we see the difference with and without is big for example, this plane with plane and without plane. As you can see, it has here more light and is more realistic. For example, now we see in the in the exterior, we just go we select the plane. Go to visibility and uncheck transmissions. And now from interior you will not see it. But if you go outside, you see it again. If you don't want to see it from exterior, you just unclick the camera and you will not see it. But it still has effect here because okay. Now we are going to add the wood material here. Also, you can find textures in ambient CG, in polygon, I'm going to create uh, here now a new setup for We are going to report shading cube. Add a, 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 select the here and press Ctrl T. If you have enabled this add-on, this one, you are able to create this. 
And we find the texture. I'm gonna use this texture. So we need to UV unwrap it. I need to rotate it. And as you can as I can see it's in perfect scale. And we need to apply this one back. Even this one we you can wrap it. We had a bump here. This is too much. It's too good. And we need to add the roughness. Also make this non-color. Add the RGB. should look like this and we need to light it more this texture to do that we add a hue saturation I go to value and make it too now it's more white now we need to add the material to panel I'm gonna create a procedural material here. Select all you smart UV. Okay. Go to new. And uh, go to add a bump. Add the uh, noise Go to height and add the uh, control T and choose UV. You select all as you smart UV. Okay, make the scale around uh, 700. To look like bumpy or even more. Make the distance something like this. To look like bumpy. The roughness should be. Not too much. Add a RGB light. RGB. Add a hue. Prefer to do it this way because I have more control over the over the color. As you can see, this is like brown material. And we go to our RGB and make it like the same material. Something like this. And just go to render mode to see it even more clear. As you can see, I need to make more light. And now it's looking 
close to the same. Something like this. And we need to add uh, we need to add Babel because Babel is to make the scene to look more realistic because nothing in the real world is sharp because you can see it's too sharp because you need to have that kind of angle here to reflect the light as you can see here this is the bevel here this is how it make the angle more sharp it add light and you can see it's more realistic to add bevel we add it in two ways with control V but uh, I don't prefer this way because I cannot edit later I prefer to do it with modifiers so point 0.2 and make it 3 you select all the object that you, you want to add bevel so it's going to go with all of them because everything need to have bevel select the last one is the one you have bevel control l and copy modifiers after you do that everything should have bevel as you can see some object that have modifiers the bevel doesn't work because uh, this one was with another solidify the solidify I need to move up and now it has bevel okay let's see the scene again As you can see, now we need to add here a shelf to add the phone or the stuff here. We do that in that way. Add a cube. You scale it. Should be around uh, 20 centimeters. You move it to zero. You go up for 40 centimeters. Move it to the wood. Just gonna move it this for a 15 more and make it like 40 or 50. Something like that. You select and press Shift D. I shoot 1.8 and select the last one and copy modifiers. You need to apply the scale here and it's done. And also link the material. As you can see, we need to move and drop it. Need to change the the way how the textures 
are orientated. For example, if this one you want to move it, you select, you move. It's simple. Now we see in the render view. Now we need to start to add models, 3D models in the scene, like pad, some decoration, carpet, curtain, lights. The asset that I'm going to use in this scene are from 3D UK Studio. They have amazing asset for arches for Blender. They have more than 290 models and growing. They are offering a 20% discount for viewers that are watching this video. Link of the coupon code and the store will be in the description. You can get the models also in the Patreon page. Link will be in the description. I have uh, prepared the models. I have downloaded. Go file, band. Go to downloads. So you can see we start via the pad. And we start positioning assets in our scene. For example, if you want to see the view tab, for example, you see the, the slab, the, all the things, and you remove it. But I don't prefer to do it this way because you need to remove to add, and if the scene is big. It's complicated, it's take time. Another way to do this is if you go in front view and press Alt P, you select the port you want to see. And this will create a, a clip that is more easy for them now. We select by empty and we position it or bad. It's more easy and if you want to remove it just uh, press again control P. And now as you can see it's Good. We need to add the carpet here. File a band. Download. As you can see, it's missing the textures. While I'm missing files. And it added. Okay. Rotate 190. We scale it. Remove it. And with scale and shift Z, we scale it. Again, you go front view, control B. You will see things more good from the top okay now we need to move the pad more up because of the textures because of the carpet now we see it again
everything is fitting now uh, we need to add the curtains here We go to the hit clip, the snap, and go to wireframe, and we position it our curtains. So you can see we need to scale it to fit on in our scene. Okay, and we need to remove this. As you can see, we need to add one here and one here that are black. This like green. Okay, going top wireframe. You select this one or oh, just more add another one here that is yellow I mean green and another one here that is green gray As you can see, scene start to make it more heavy. But uh, I'm gonna use some trick here because, as you can see, after we added the curtain, our scene started to look more dark. To remove that effect of, for example, to calculate it here, the light, all the stuff, the diffusion, we go to. Curtain material, and we add uh, some extra stuff. For example, we add a transparent. We mix this two. Add a light bulb. Add a math. We don't want effect of a shadow and of the effect of the diffuse and we remove it as you can see now it's not a big difference and most of the interiors for example the exterior light is overexposure at so in most cases completely bright To achieve that result in our interior, we go to the world and to the background of the JPEG, we make it damp. We make it even more, we make it 15. You can see now it start to get exposure, exposure more. Let's make it this one more light the scene because if we go to the color management and the false, as you can see, we need to add more light because blue it mean we need to overexpose more. Make it more five, for example, or four, and uh, we just uh, add more, maybe twenty.
as you can see now it's start looking more good we need to add uh, some decoration Samples this three move to the path here. We add a light here. This object doesn't have a light because some do, some don't. We add this here. We select this one and we link the material with this one. The light. Just move it more down. And now the fact is added. Also, as you can see, it's a lot of decoration stuff that we can add. And this side, we need to modeling some coffee table stuff. As you can see, you can find inspiration in on the internet. Like this one, like is minimalistic. Let's do it this one. You can see, just drag it, and it's added. And we go to Blender. Sometimes you cannot find the models, the models that are simple to do. Why not to do it yourself? We add the cylinder. Move it to zero. The height should be around 40 centimeters. Create this invert. Should look like uh, something like this. Apply the rotation and make it smooth. Also, we need to add the this wood material. We 
hat. So, wie hat sein? Name it. We had it wood. And here we want to make it white. We have the procedural material here. And I want to rotate the, the UV and to make it this one white. Just we duplicate it and we make it white. And we add soft operation like this airpods with the book and if you want to add more story like this coffee You just need to move it more up. The book is okay. And the rest of them. You just move it from the scene or place it on the exterior. And uh, you need to add some some pictures here. And just need three of them. it in the exterior and we're gonna use only this tree and move it close to the wall we add the camera here And we change the focal length to 25 to open the view more. Okay, we, we make it 0, 0, 0 and 90. And uh, See how it look. As you can see, it start looking good. To getting more shape, it's looking realistic. Need to change some clip start, one hundred and fifty centimeters, just to move it more. So 
something like this. And uh, let's see the color management. I prefer to use high contrast because it make more good. Medium, very, this is too much. And just I'm going to modeling some other stuff like uh, this light here. I really like this one. Going to model it. Should be here. Plus a cursor. Add a circle. Scale it. Extrude. extrude it again just we apply the rotation and scale okay scale extrude somewhere like this I think this is to top of the thickness scale shift C Shoot it. I'm also watching my reference here. Yeah, the subdivision. And we add uh, just move it bow somewhere like there. I think this should be more big. And we we unwrap it. And we see how it look now. So you see if you can look it look great. Now we can use the same material that you have used it here in the wood. Just make it metallic. Okay, we duplicate make it like make it metallic and change the color to to green I think 
and we just need to Okay, add the light here, I swear, scale it, make it smooth. And we add another one here. Something like this. So you can see sphere ball should be more down. And now we see how oh, it look. It's looking good, and it's time to make a render. I'm gonna let you see some of my settings here. I'm not gonna explain it too much because I prefer to make uh, in the future another video about my settings. For example, for sampling. I prefer to use this is for viewport and render I prefer to use not more than 256 more than this will take too much time I prefer to use optics albedo and normal I have applied my GTX also to light path this is the settings I use just copy mine I prefer to use uh, for render 200 to make it uh, 4k it look more good and uh, this doesn't matter sometimes I use simplify when I uh, use when the scene become too big to make it more easy for rendering but this time I'm not using And now we are going to render it. Go to zero. I went uh, so you can see some you need to add the render region. Also we can use some compositing. If we want to, but I'm not going to do it. And uh, now we are going to to create the render. The render is finished. You can go and save it. I prefer to save it in 60, 16 color depth and PNG.
and uh, we are going to move to Photoshop. Now we are in Photoshop. In Photoshop, I'm not going to go deep. I'm just going to explain some little trick to make your interior to look even more better, to look more realistic with some extra effect. The first effect uh, that I'd like to use is uh, curve. In the curve, just move it this way up to increase the brightness and this one just little one it makes the interior look more good as you can see even more realistic the second trick I like to use is to add sharp for example it's not looking too much sharp you select this layer go to filter other high pass and the radius leave it one pixels okay and the uh, linear light now if you want to see the difference for example if you think this is too much to opposite go to opposite and make it 50 or in your preference and for example if you think that your interior look like a cult you can go to and add a layer for example to increase the red color and this is it your interior design is finished if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this uh, like and subscribe If you want to support me, you can support me on a Patreon page. Link will be in the description. Also, you can get this full scene there. Thank you for watching. See you.